Schemas, users, privileges, and roles. Schemas and users. What is a schema? A schema is a schematic. A user is a user using the schematic, either directly or indirectly. In Oracle, a schema and a user are actually the same thing. However, the schema is used as a central repository or area to store table structures and data. Users can be multiple users looking at a single schema, as in DBAs, system users, developers, and application end users, amongst others. As you can see from the diagram on the right, the Oracle database is surrounded or contains a number of different schemas where multiple users will look at many schemas or individual schemas. System users, DBAs, and developers do work on the schemas in the Oracle database, whereas internet users or application end users will be passed through something such as a web server using either a single username on the internet or multiple client server users and will either look directly into the schema usernames or other usernames which are connected to the schemas. As we've already said, a schema and user is actually the same thing in Oracle physically or logically. A schema generally contains tables, but the schema is also a user. However, there are extra users which will have certain privilege restrictions onto those schema users. Security. Security is handled in Oracle in a number of ways, some very simple, some highly complex. The simplest form of security in Oracle is password authentication. In other words, each username has a password. That password is encrypted and authenticated based on the user. This leads us to privileges. There are a number of layers of privileges. These are system privileges, object privileges, column privileges. There are a number of other levels of privilege allocation, which we will go through in detail. System privileges. What is a system privilege? A system privilege is a privilege allocated to a database object. In other words, a table, an index, or a sequence. A database object, in this respect, is a thing in the database or a logical overlay in the database which allows access to the containers in the database containing the data. In other words, the tables, the indexes, the sequences, etc. The database objects. These particular privileges shown here are, for instance, a privilege that allows a user to create a table, allows a user to create an index, create a sequence. There are many more system privileges. We'll go through those later on. Object privileges. An object privilege really is different to a system privilege in that it allows access to objects between different users. So where a system privilege allows a user to create a database object, an object privilege allows access to an object which is already created in the database. For instance, you could have, as you can see from the diagram, the concert schema here. And now we have another schema called the customer schema. The customer is allowed access to three tables in the concert schema, the act table, the show table, and the venue table. There are a number of ways in which access could be allowed from the customer schema into the concert schema using those three tables. One way is by using an object privilege and perhaps granting a privilege from the concert schema to the customer schema to allow access, for instance, to the act table or creation of views either in the concert schema or synonyms or simply duplication of the tables into the customer schema. Two of the most common ways is to create synonyms on the tables in the concert schema and allow access from the customer schema or to the customer schema. The second most common way is to simply grant access privileges from concerts to customer.